gauntlet match. As impressive as it is to see Raquel Rodriguez move her shoulder blades like that, I can't help but think about that one scene from Spongebob where David Hasselhoff moved his pecs similar to that like a robot. Someone put Spongebob and Patrick in between Raquel's shoulder blades and see what happens. Smackdown on Fox is sponsored by Skip. What the hell is up with Shayna Baszler here? She's skipping around like she's Sami Zayn in the bloodline. Does this make Shayna the honorary Rouse? Yeah, I tried. To the limit. And I believe ever since then, Rousey's been- Even though she obviously won't, Ronda Rousey should consider a new opening move that doesn't involve the quick arm drag takedown based off Raquel Rodriguez being ready for it. These days, how would anybody be able to fall for that? Ooh. And he's spinning. That spinning slam from Raquel was so powerful, it shut off the lights on the LED boards at ringside. What power. He's got the advantage. Raquel. Ooh. Oh. Raquel definitely has to work on her aim when it comes to throwing Ronda Rousey in the ring the way she did. All right, I gotta admit that was funny. All Ronda had to do was collapse in order to avoid Raquel's oncoming attack, which sent the ladder into the ring post. You can clearly tell that Raquel herself is putting her leg in the air like that, because Ronda's only grasping above the knee, which logically would make Raquel's leg in the air, but the lower leg would be bent over. A little higher next time, Ronda. That's what Raquel seems to be doing here, but... Oh! <laughs> That was perfectly done with a comedic time, and Ronda Rousey be like, ah, 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 I'm smarter than you, whack. Seriously, WWE should consider either hiring better technicians to fix up the flicker and LED problems, or just get rid of the boards entirely and bring back the usual barricades. Nobody's gonna give a shit about it if you do the latter. Oh, turn into a Boston Crab! That's clearly not a Boston Crab, looks more like a modified version of the sharpshooter. Riding in pain, Dang, Ronda Rousey is doing a horrible job here. No shocker. It was that easy for Raquel Rodriguez to get out of the ankle lock without so much as a single effort. That's embarrassing. Driving, Ronda. Raquel had four options. Spine buster on the ring apron, the mats on the floor, the announce table, and the steel stairs, and figured the ring apron would be the best option to inflict the most punishment to her opponent. Oof. Ronda Rousey with a vertical suplex. Come on, Michael Cole. Even upside down, you can tell that Raquel Rodriguez is the one lifting up Ronda Rousey, not the other way around. Rodriguez able to power through. Honestly, tonight should have been the night where WWE pulled the trigger on giving Raquel Rodriguez the SmackDown Women's Championship because her performance was amazing in so many ways. Be Raquel's moment, Shayna ba Raquel didn't even hit Shayna Baszler right there. I'm gonna just assume that Shayna lost her balance and the impact of the ground is what took her out. Shayna Baszler! The referee obviously saw Shayna Baszler grab Ronda Rousey's foot, yet is constantly asking for confirmation. Bruh, you saw what happened. Just eject Shayna or call for the disqualification. What's with the 10,000 questions here? Also, the referee doesn't even eject Shayna after the blatant interference. He just lets her get away with it. What a moron. The human soul. Oh my goodness! Much as Ronda hasn't been performing her best lately, that ending was fantastic. Since Ronda already had an arm bar locked in on the top rope, the impact of the fall caused more damage to Raquel's arm. She was tapping well before Ronda ever cinched in the hold even further. Match was absurd. Charlotte Flair saw Ronda Rousey with a microphone about to cut a promo and in a panic yelled, Quick, play my music, play my music, hurry up! The title at SummerSlam, no wait, no, Royal Rumble, that's a lot sooner, yeah. Ah yes, Sumer, my favorite season of the year next to Wine Tier. Not a fan of Sprite though, but Atum is an improvement. I'm challenging you tonight. Charlotte Flair is somehow allowed to do this. Wait a minute, if Charlotte has an imaginary Money the Bank contract, then what's the point of the actual Money the Bank contract? You're in luck because I'm feeling spicy. We talking hot sauce or deodorant here? Also, if I'm being perfectly honest, I'd have Ronda Rousey decline Charlotte's immediate challenge and set the stage for the SummerSlam event, I mean the Royal Rumble in the Sumer. Because if we were going to have Ronda lose her title tonight, why not just have her lose it to Raquel Rodriguez moments ago? Shoulders down! Charlotte! WWE is trying way too hard with having Charlotte Flair get to 16 title reigns. She's got about as many title wins as General Grievous has lightsabers in his collection. Even in the Triple H era, Charlotte can't last five minutes without being a champion. Hence why I'd prefer the actual build-up to this randomness. Here are 10 cents to the counter. <laughs>